Hello, Clarif is the name, Vanished is the game. Let's get back to it. So, last time we got some more crop types. And so now we're going to have some more crops in general. And I was originally thinking about putting them here, but I actually don't want to go into this green area so much because that is where our gather works. And while we were originally going to cut off our gather, I feel like we should leave them with some space because they're actually doing a pretty good job even with their circle being all sorts of encroached upon. Like, that's 600, it's still a thousand food right there. So that's why we're not just going to take out the gatherer's hut. We're actually going to see what it's capable of. So let's go. All right. Need some more builders. Also, we were putting in more tailors because I realized we only had one a while back. And uh, it makes sense to have more. So that's what we're doing. Where are our tailors? Right there. We still don't need more, which means they're all still getting built. Uh, these guys. See, I really don't want to get more on our fuel, fuel limit. Because if we up our fuel limit, then we'll need more stockpiles. And I feel like building more stockpiles is not how you solve the I'm running out of room problem. I feel like that's actually going to hurt us. So I'm not going to do that. Taylor? Wow. I'll, I'll go on that tangent here in a second. But, okay. Anyway. Our tailors are getting done. And, uh, life is good. How far does the circle go? It goes pretty far. I wouldn't want to I mean, I do have a path right there, so I can build on the other side of that path, but I wouldn't, you know, this box should be enough. There's the other tailor, and now I'm going to point out the thing I was about to point out before, because I just really didn't want to forget to get this person on making coats. And it's not even the right kind of coats, so I should probably change that as well. Make the warm ones. Okay, the tangent I was going to do. A few episodes back, or maybe last episode, I don't remember, they all blend together when I record like this. I got 700 herbs, and now there's only two, which means we use them. But also our health went up, so there's that. I wonder, what if we ordered herbs as well, or purchased herbs, like auto-purchased herbs? Where are they? Right there. Just send them up the purchasing hierarchy until they're like right there. Tell them to get a thousand of them if they come in. Um, just like that. Okay, so herbs are on our auto purchase now. And we're actually gonna... It was weird to watch some of them go away like that. Once Arrow went away, but this one didn't. Which means that someone's like, hey, the firewood is under 1500. And everyone's like, okay. And then one person cut a piece and they're like, there, it's fixed. There's that. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, herbs. That's right. Um, yeah. So, I don't know how much I've talked about this. I'm going to tangent for a second. But I really like Banished. I really like Small World. The series does need to end eventually, and we're kind of at a point where we can go on forever, and ever, and ever, and that'd be okay. Because I really don't think there's any way that Small World would die unless the uh, disaster that shall not be named comes through. So. means I need to find an ending place eventually. But I really like Small World and I really want to keep playing it. So I suppose the way to do this would be to let me know if you'd rather see me start another Banished World, maybe with some more interesting rules, like maybe I really, really focus on trading for resources early on rather than filling up the map and then needing to. Or, you know, I'm sure I could come up with other interesting things to do, but it wouldn't be like a straight Banished Let's Play. There'd be more conditions to it and whatnot. I know there are Banished mods, 
but I don't really want to get into those yet. I still really like just Vanilla Banished. I feel like there's still a lot of things I can do with it. So yeah, let me know if you want this series to continue. I need to pause the game because we're having problems. Um, let me know if you want this series to continue in Small World or if you'd rather I play Banished in another game. Um, I might eventually take a break from Banished. Uh, summer's coming and I know there's other games I want to play. So yeah, just I guess let me know what you think. Um, I really appreciate it if you've been following this Let's Play. Banished is probably one of my favorite games. Well, probably one of my favorites. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's definitely in the top five favorite games that I have. So it's just really fun to, to have an excuse to play it and, you know, feel productive playing it. So, yeah, thank you so much. Anyway, back to the game. The reason I paused is because we have 50 labors. And suddenly I'm paranoid. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I get paranoid that I didn't actually press the record button sometimes, which is not good. So we took all the stone, which is good, because that's what I told them to do. And everything else is also good, so we're going to play the game and send him on his way. Alright. What else? I'm really curious about our twin fishing huts here. 500... 726. It is at this point just about as effective as one fishing hut would have been. How's this one? Because this one was new. Or, well, it helps if I actually have all the fishermen working. That might have been why these dropped. Except they both have four on them. I feel like that... I don't know. This one's... That one's still pretty productive. It's just this one isn't. And I'm wondering why this one isn't, because I'd expect this one to be pretty productive. But it's not. Is there not an empty storage barn in the area? I feel like they'd be able to fill up the storage barns with fish if they wanted to. Admittedly, there's a lot less water, and then there's some overlap. But I feel like this one would be more effective. This is the one at three, though, right? I don't know. That's that's kind of worrying that that's like that. Where is this guy? Okay. What do you got? Chickens and cattle. I have those. I have those covered. This hole in the ground bothers me. I wish I could do something about it, but as far as I know, I can't. So, yeah, we live with it. It's the price of uh, being able to get our own resources. I kind of want to do a bridge that way, because I feel like that's a good spot for a bridge, but also it doesn't make sense. Then I could do a bridge there, but I feel like that doesn't actually achieve anything, because this bridge does exactly the same thing as a bridge there. Just trying to make sure our town is as connected as it can be. I think there was that bridge I was considering. Like right. Well, that bridge is weird. Um, This bridge. Hey. Am I not doing it right? Why isn't... Okay, well, go there. Won't go there. Won't go there. Okay. Um, put the bridge there, then. It's fine. So, yeah. Because I feel like then the mine will be a lot closer to this area. And maybe some of these houses will work in the mine. Um, not that that's exactly a good thing, but... Also, you know, it's not a bad thing. And then maybe if we do another bridge here, because there's these houses. And I know that's kind of close to our other bridge, but also, you know, it works. Who has died and why? Woodcutter died of old age? Oh, a miner was killed by a cave -in. This goes by so quickly, I feel like I don't actually know any of the people in the town anymore. How many years has it been? It has been 54 years. We have 256 adults, 45 students, and 50, uh, 60 now. 60 children. 61 children. 60 children. Anyway. Our town is a good size. 
but I need to continue to work on it. Let's see, where's... I'm actually not going to build that all the way down yet, because I might want to put some more houses in this area. Although we have so many laborers. I don't know what to do with all these people. Uh, I guess we can make our farms more productive. Now's a bad time to be making our farms more productive. Uh, it's late spring. I'm going to wait until winter to take that that chance. Because essentially what I do is I up all the numbers on the farms and then I up all the farmers. And in upping all the numbers on the farms, some farms get abandoned and I'm just going to wait until they're not working on them. Which means I might forget. You know, a long time ago, I said I'd put a house here. I never did. It's done. The house is there. Don't know if it matters, but it's there. Uh, let's see. You know, this area does look like it's doing fine. I think we found a good balance with our our guys. And we're getting, what, 450? 450 logs? Our logs feel like they're going down really fast. I'm getting kind of suspicious. That's not the one I meant. It doesn't say we're using more logs than we're producing. But also, I feel like at some point we had close to a thousand logs, and now we only have close to 500. So, where'd my logs go? I'm a little worried now. This guy's only doing uh, 285. If we're going to have this forestry area, we might as well have it be as productive as it can be. So I'm going to put in the second forester and see what that merchant wants. Coal we took, stone we took, leather and ale. We good. Okay. All these up arrows. So I wish I could disable some of them. Like I don't need to know that my woodcutters are at capacity, but also I feel like it's also good that I know that my woodcutters are at capacity, because when that sort of thing happens, I know that we're behind, or we momentarily were behind. And if the arrows weren't there, I'd be more likely to sense that something was wrong, and I'd be able to tell that we're not at our limits. But also, I check the town hall frequently. It's, oh, food is, food is behind. Okay. Okay. I understand. Uh... <laughs> You know, there's something I said we'd do, and I, I have not done it. I got so distracted. And that was our, our new farms. Whoops. Um, let's see, where's this actual mountain at? Okay, what, what can I build here? I think we'll build off the graveyard, actually. Just do... Let's see, let's build out this path. Oh, wait, is uh, 16? Because that'll give us room for two farms. Eight by eight. It's raining. And seven by eight. There's eight by eight. Okay. And I don't think we can put farms there. No. Can we put one there? No. Okay, we're just gonna make a line of farms for the moment. Eight by eight. Can one go behind this one? I just put in? Yes. We are invading the little pod that I've liked for a while. Which is good. Because it needed to happen eventually. Ten people don't have jobs. Did my coal mine stop working? Because I wasn't ready for that. Oh, this town's getting ahead of me. Okay, hang on. Miners, yep, my coal mine. My coal mine has gone dry, and that's bad, because you also need coal to make tools. You don't need it, but you want it, because then you can make steel tools, and steel tools are better than iron tools. They last longer. They help. I don't know if they make the work faster or if they last longer, but I know that they're good to have. So it's kind of a bummer that our mine shut down, but also we have 3,000 coal, so is it that bad? We'll find out. Um, that does mean that we do need another mine. 
because I would like at least five people mining coal. This isn't emptying, right? Yeah, it's still at 89. Although I did just build that tonight. I feel like that's emptying a little faster than I'd like as well. Uh, where would be a good place? Like right there. I just want to find places that aren't too obtrusive. I feel like that's okay. Although I just want to go there. Now there's, there's one spot. There's a one spot off there. But that one would work. Okay, cool. I was worried it wouldn't go there, because I actually kind of like that spot. Um, it's close to our, uh, what's it called? Our quarry, right there. So I can actually build a bridge between these two. And then they'll be close together, which is what I wanted. That is good. That is good. I need 14 builders. And I should probably build some more houses in this area if I'm going to have a mine over here. So, I'll build the stone houses. I, I'm going to drop that to 10, because eventually they'll be working again. Um, hmm. <laughs> People are walking that way to get to it, which is interesting. Um, that, uh, it's going to kind of bring them in that pattern. It's going to look kind of weird, but maybe kind of cool. You never know. Okay. And you know, we are using the stone paths over here. I'm going to wait, though. If I turn this, will it fit better? No. Hmm. I'm just going to let those three houses get built. Knowing them, they're going to build the houses before they build the mine. And I actually want them to build the mine first. Oh, I thought they finished it. Which, they didn't. They're just getting closer. Okay. So, yeah. We're getting more laborers and we're doing less work. This is not good. That's right. Okay. So, this is our new situation. Uh, corn. Pumpkin. Squash. Cabbage, pepper, wait, corn, pumpkin, squash, cabbage, pepper, potato. Potato. Okay, and we're going to keep two farmers on each of those, and then just have more efficient farms. And then while we're here, I'm actually going to go around and up all of our farms to have two laborers per farm, because then all of our farms will be better off in the long run. There's less chance of the food freezing or, you know, the food freezing. If they start harvesting, they should be able to finish harvesting. So, that's good. Where else did I have farms? Some over here. My orchards are already at full capacity. How far can you up these? Oh, I'm going to have six farmers on that little tiny farm. I'm going to pass. Uh, is there anywhere else to do up here? No. I did not. Okay. Well, there we go. Now, moment of truth. How many farmers do I need? 62. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not super superstitious, superstitious or anything, but 62 is my least favorite number. So, that's fun. I say I'm not super superstitious, but I won't say the disaster that will probably destroy this town if it happens, because it's destroyed every other town I've ever had that specific disaster happen in. So, you know, maybe I'm lying. I don't consider myself to be super superstitious, if I could say the word. I'm not good at talking all the time, maybe you've noticed. <clears throat> maybe I am. You know what, I'm just going to make this path also God, I I'm gonna make this path also a stone road, because then this entire area is just stone roads, and that makes sense to me. Oh, the timer's going off. I don't want to stop playing Vanished right now, because there's just a lot going on. So, 
Chris and I are scared because our tools are at uh, 1,999. I'm like, are our tools dropping? No, they're just one behind. Um, anyway. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to play another one after this. And I think I am. I'm going to do one more tonight, and then I'll go to bed. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Leave a like, remember to subscribe, and go get some sunshine. I'll see you next time.